Potholes occur because of, uh, of bad weather. It's usually because of cold weather and wet weather, and those two things together means that the road service can break up. Our inspectors and our highway stewards have been out and they inspect them to decide on the appropriate repair to make. Uh, and we therefore then issue instructions to our contractors. They come out and repair them as quickly as possible. Most of the repairs we're doing now are permanent repairs. We sometimes need to do temporary repairs because of road conditions, because it's wet, for example, or because it's a busy junction and we can't block the road for too long. The important part of this is to get the road repaired as quickly as possible so people can use it safely. Our main responsibility is safety of road users. If we come across a, a, a pothole, we want to repair it as quickly as possible so that people don't get harmed. Uh, that does involve some interruption to road users sometimes and disruption, um, but we try to manage that in a way that's as least impactful as possible. They're a dedicated bunch. We've got very committed work crews, a very professional work crews, very professional highway inspectors and highway stewards who are, like us, committed to maintaining a safe network. The guys who do pothole repairs are also the people who drive at night to rip the roads during this time. So that is a big, big challenge on us. It's taking away resource. We have to maintain roads safely during winter conditions. We've got a 5,400 mile road network in Kent. That's more than the motorway network in the whole of England. Uh, it's a big network, it's a complicated network. We recognise that it's the key enabling asset in the whole of Kent that, that, that allows for everything else to happen. Work to happen, emergency services, business, growth, all these things are dependent on a good road network. Most of our maintenance is planned uh, in order to avoid these things happening in the first place. We, we, we have complicated systems where we survey roads mechanically. We, we've got IT systems that will model deterioration and for the most part we actually do intervene before the potholes occur.